Now, the race for president has been historically close right up until the end. Daniel Finkelstein continues our team coverage live from Canandaigua, where Trump supporters are gathering this evening. Daniel. Yeah, Karen, a veteran I spoke to just minutes ago tells me he wasn't a huge fan of either of his options for president, but thinks this time around Donald Trump was the better choice. He tells me he voted red the first two times the former president ran and hopes to see a better economic outlook under another Trump administration. I just feel the country was in better shape when he was in charge. Prices in the stores weren't going up. The uh, economy was a lot better. Uh, though all these wars weren't going on, I don't know. Somebody's got to do something. So uh, it, this is a this is a hard vote because either way, I I don't know how it's going to turn out. No, we'll be here speaking with voters throughout the evening. Later tonight, we'll have an inside look from a watch party as Republican voters here in Ontario County watch the results come in. Karen? Daniel, thank you. Harris supporters are huddling closely together as well on this historic election night. We go live now to Natalie Calzatoni in Rochester. Natalie. Karen, later tonight here at 70 West on Central Avenue, Kamala Harris supporters will be alive, ready to celebrate the election. Later tonight, ahead of that party, I spoke with the regional lead of the Harris campaign in Rochester, Isaiah Santiago. He tells me more than 500 volunteers based in Rochester have been traveling to Pennsylvania, as we know, a key battleground state for this election, to canvas for Harris. Santiago says he and the volunteers are looking forward to having something to celebrate. It will be rewarding, um, you know, certainly for the, the hard work, the sleepless nights, you know, the three hour sleep sleep nights, you know, and, and getting on the bus to Pennsylvania in the morning. It will be truly an honor to be able to be a part of this historic one. And I'll be back here later tonight with Harris supporters at 70 West to watch the returns. Reporting live in Rochester, Natalie Calzatoni, 13 Wham News. Back to you.